Midwifery Licensure Exam, Obstetrics, Reviewer Number 02. This reviewer is intended for those who are planning to take a midwifery licensure examination. There are 11 reviewer questions featured in this video. These reviewer questions all fall under the obstetrics category or subtopic of the midwifery licensure exam. Although these questions are modeled on the midwifery licensure exam given by the Professional Regulations Commission in the Philippines, the concepts are universal and are therefore applicable to similar midwifery licensure exams given in other territories. In proceeding with this reviewer video, the correct answer is revealed 3 to 5 seconds after each question. You may be given more time for questions requiring computations or analysis of charts, graphs, tables, drawings, or illustrations. You are encouraged to attempt to answer each question and record your correct or wrong answer on a piece of paper or on your smartphone. If you need time to prepare for the recording and checking of your answers, please press the pause button now and then press the play button whenever you are ready. Before you proceed, please take time to read the following disclaimer. Let's begin. Question number one. The site separation of the placenta from its attachment to the uterus is in the A. Decidua spongiosa. B. Decidua capsule. C. Decidua vera. D. None of these. The correct answer is C. Decidua vera is the decidua of the endometrium lining the uterus, except for those areas beneath and above the implanted and developing ovum called, respectively, the decidua bacillus and the decidua capsularis. Decidua vera is also called decidua peridalis. Question number two. In inland communities in the Philippines, iodine is deficient in the diet. Therefore the use of iodized salt will correct the deficiency. Iodine deficiency in the diet may result in A. Dwarfism B. Cretinism C. Fetal ugentism D. Ophthalmia neonatorum The correct answer is D. Neonatal conjunctivitis, also known as Ophthalmia neonatorum, is a form of conjunctivitis and a type of neonatal infection contracted by newborns during delivery. The baby's eyes are contaminated during passage through the birth canal from a mother infected with either Neisseria gonorrhoeae or Chlamydia trachomatis. Question number 3. The presence of fever, foul lachial discharge, tender and subinvolution uterus indicate A. Puerperal sepsis B. Ophthalmia neonatorum C. Puerperal psychosis D. Milk leg The correct answer is A. Puerperal sepsis is a potential complication of postpartum infections. It is one of the leading causes of postpartum mortality in the world. Puerperal infections can cause the following, among others, subinvolution, a medical condition in which after childbirth, the uterus does not return to its normal size, lachia, a vaginal discharge of cellular debris, mucus, and blood following childbirth. Question number 4. A contracted pelvis is a problem of the A. Position B. Passenger C. Power D. Passage The correct answer is D. A contracted pelvis is a pelvis in which one or more of its diameters is reduced below the normal by one or more centimeters so that it interferes with the normal mechanism of labor. Question number 5. The most reliable basis in the computation of the EDC is the A. Date of LMP B. Quickening C. Date of pregnancy test D. Date of conception The correct answer is A. Estimated due date or EDD and also often referred to as EDC is calculated by adding 280 days or 40 weeks to the first day of the last menstrual period or LMP. Question number 6. Vaginal acidity is due to the presence of A. Herpes virus B. Seminal discharge C. Dotterlines bacilli D. Candida albicans The correct answer is C. Dotterlines bacilli 
also referred to as vaginal flora or vaginal microbiota, are anaerobic lactobacillus normally present in the vagina where they continually convert glycogen molecules to produce lactic acid which destroys or inhibits some potentially harmful bacteria entering the vaginal canal. They were discovered by the German gynecologist Albert Dutterlin in 1892 and are part of the overall human flora. The amount and type of bacteria present have significant implications for a woman's overall health. Question number 7. The stage of labor that is completed after the delivery of the baby is the A. First stage B. Second stage C. Third stage D. Last stage The correct answer is B. The second stage of labor begins when the cervix is completely dilated and ends with the birth of the baby. Contractions push the baby down the birth canal, and the mother may feel intense pressure, similar to an urge to have a bowel movement. Question number 8. After complete expulsion of the placenta and the uterus is firm and contracted, the possible cause of postpartum hemorrhage is A. The laceration of the birth canal B. The placenta secundi C. The uterine adeny D. Puerperal sepsis The correct answer is A. Postpartum hemorrhage is excessive bleeding following the birth of a baby. About 1 to 5% of women have postpartum hemorrhage and it is more likely with a cesarean birth. Hemorrhage most commonly occurs after the placenta is delivered and is typically caused by the laceration of the birth canal. Lacerations of the birth canal are common side effects of vaginal birth. They are potentially preventable. Question number 9. The obstetrical history of a patient with an abortion and four term deliveries and three living children. A. 30-14 B. 14-03 C. 41-03 D. 40-13 the correct answer is D. TPAL is one of the methods to provide a quick overview of a female's obstetric history. T refers to term births or births after 37 weeks gestation. P refers to premature births. A refers to abortions. And L refers to living children. The TPAL is described by numbers separated by hyphens. Multiple births, such as twins, triplets and higher multiples count as one pregnancy, also known as gravidity, but each child born during that pregnancy is counted separately. Question number 10. In the last trimester of pregnancy, and the form in cephalic presentation the fetal heartbeats are best heard using a stethoscope in the A. Upper quadrant, B. Lower quadrant, C. Abdomen, D. Level of umbilicus. The correct answer is, B. In the last trimester and before birth, ideally the baby is positioned head down, facing the mother's back, with the chin tucked to its chest and the back of the head ready to enter the pelvis. This is called cephalic presentation. Most babies settle into this position within the 32nd and 36th weeks of pregnancy. In this position, the baby's heart is located somewhere in the lower quadrant. Question number 11. The family planning method that prevents the meeting of the sperm and the eggs is a. Rhythm method. B. Contraceptive pills. C. Intrauterine device. D. Condom. The correct answer is, D. Condoms are a barrier method of contraception. They are made of very thin latex or rubber, polyurethane or polyisoprene, and are designed to prevent pregnancy by stopping sperm from meeting an egg. How did you fare in this short test? Did you get at least 80% of the correct answers? Don't worry too much if you did not do so well. Just keep on reviewing. Watch this video and take the short test again sometime in the near future until you get a perfect score every time. Check out our other available midwifery licensure exam reviewer videos and playlists. Please like if you find this reviewer video useful. Feel free to share it. Don't forget to subscribe to Review Central channel on YouTube so you won't miss out on newly published reviewer videos and playlists.